this video, I will show how to use dynamic link freeze mode to run an ADS simulation with a cadence schematic design on Windows PC. So I will use this set instance freeze mode to true menu item. So again, select this dynamic link instance, set instance freeze mode to true, and then select this dynamic link instance. So I can end the command and then push down. You see the freeze parameter is set to true. This is the latest file that will be reused for ADS simulation instead of being recreated by dynamic link. Now let's look at this model file. The directory that DL is not under the workspace directory. So in order to move this ADS workspace to another computer, in this particular case Windows PC, I will need to collect all the model files used for this design. This is examples underlying WRK is the workspace directory. That, D, that DL is outside of the workspace directory. Inside the .dl directory, this is the cadence model.scs file. In the content, you see it include slash temp slash examples file. This file is also outside of the ADS workspace directory. And the, if you look at the demo include that SCS is content, it includes a couple of models under the that models uh, under the models directory. So models directory demo include that SCS and the models that SCS C file under the DO directory all need to be moved or copied over to the ADS workspace directory so that I, I can archive it and send it to a different machine. Now I'm copying the models directory over to examples under line WRK and then I will copy the .dl slash examples power m schematic models.scsc file to examples underline wrk slash dot dl and I will copy model include that acs also to the workspace directory now I remove the include path and then change directory. I want to find the .dl directory, but it's hidden. So I have to explicitly type .dl and then open it. I want to select this models.scs file. And click apply. to the examples workspace directory that deal directory the examples power m schematic models that I see is just has just copied over the absolute path now uh, I want to reflect the new file I want to use the new files copied over to the workspace directory. It's under my workspace directory. The demo include that SCS. It'll be easier if uh, 
this file is also under this the DL directory. So I can just specify file name instead of path. Because the demo include now is now under the same directory. Now I can exit cadence. Because I'm no longer running dynamic link interactively between ADS and, and cadence. I will try to run ADS standalone. So I need to create the ADS session started from dynamic link. And I will restart ADS standalone from my examples WRK directory. Starting ADS under the workspace directory will open that workspace automatically. Now I want to run the simulation to double check everything is correct. It created a new data set. Now I want to remove the data set. I just double check it generated it uh, it generates the data set again now uh, I can remove it because I want to archive this workspace and I don't need a data set file in the archive it will be recreated when uh, the simulation is run again so select file archive workspace menu next and then click finish and it successfully created uh, the archive which is the workspace name examples underline wrk with dot 7z ads extension 7z ads is the file extension for ads workspace archive now I am copying this archive file to my Linux home directory because it is mapped to my Windows PC and now I can move this archive file to my Windows PC C drive want to leave it under temp directory starting ADS on Windows to open an ADS workspace archive file oh no I don't need Linux select this file an archive menu item and then select the 7z ads file and when an archive is successfully op uh, opened it will open the workspace automatically uh, I selected the icon to run a simulation it didn't find the model file that is because see in the netlist include component uh, 
ideas added to the absolute path in the include path. So I just need to browse again to the model file I copied over to this workspace. Uh, this example is WRK under the DL. This is the model file. And now it is adds this new path to the include path. Uh, I don't need the Linux path here, even though it, it's okay to leave it here. I just clean it up a uh, little bit easier to read. Run the simulation again. Now it works this time. That's it. Uh, that's how to use freeze mode to run ADS simulation with a cadence schematic design on Windows PC. You just use this uh, freeze parameter, set it to true, and make sure you included the uh, netlist of the dynamic link instance. Note that uh, this path still points to the Linux drive, which is okay when dynamic link doesn't find the latest file, it will look under the DL directory of the current workspace. So in this case, we already copied that file. Well, this file actually, uh, we didn't need to copy. It was generated under this workspace directory. So Just, yeah, I just delete the Linux path to avoid confusion, even though uh, it doesn't, doesn't change the, the function. Yeah, run a simulation, uh, it will generate the same result. So that that's all again to use the dynamic link freeze mode set freeze parameter to true and uh, it will reuse the previously generated analyst. Thank you very much for watching.